Finally here. It's so beautiful. As far as you can see, we own everything. How is that even possible? Gigi bought all of this back in 1912. He built the house later that same year. Then he came back every other year, 44 times, until year 2000. Why 44? Because he saw Casablanca 44 times. Oh. But why did Dad buy all of this? Gigi said it was the perfect spot for traveling in time, far away from cities and people, and as he bought everything, he can safely travel back and forth in time, and nothing will be in his way. And of course, no one will be able to see him suddenly just vanishing or showing up out of the blue. Holy diver shit it's spawn. Great Scott, this is heavy. Go on. He often talked about moving here, to the United States. Especially after Trump became president. He simply loved the United States. That's why he recorded the Star Spangled Banner. Best guitar playing I've ever heard. I was speechless, crying. I couldn't believe it was possible to play like that, but it was. Oh my god, I'm talking in past tense. Mom, what do you think happened? Do you think he's... No no honey I don't think so at all. He's never been away this long before. Something sweaty strange must have happened. Damn it, why did I take that extra trip to 1962? But I really wanted to see him as a baby. He was just so gorgeous, and so cute. If I hadn't done that, I would have had enough super fuel to go back in time and get him back. Or at least warn him. Warn him? Of what? We don't even know what's happened. All we know is... He's not... Dad's not here with us. I wonder. Maybe daylight saving time messed things up, you know? How do you mean? He forgot to set the time circuits one hour forward, and therefore arrived one hour early. Compared to us. Wow, Mom. That makes a lot of sense. Yes, I think so too. But if Dad's one hour behind us, he can never contact or reach us. Natalie, sweetheart honey, he can't reach us. But we, we can reach him. We can? Yes, by doing something really cool. Like what? A gigantic monument, big enough to be seen from space. Like a memorial stone? Precisely. And we'll put it right there. What is that? In the water. That's strange. Yeah, that's strange. It wasn't there before. I could swim out there and check it. No, no, sweetheart, don't do that. Why not? Oh, sweetheart, you're so much like your dad and I love you for that. But it looks dangerous. Wow, a shark. See? Dangerous. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But if dad were here, he would just shoot it and swim out himself. You're surely right about that. Oh my goodness. Natalie, let's get the boat. Excellent. Not too close. Yeah, here's great. Drop anchor. Anchor dropping. Sweaty brilliant. Learn from the best. It's dark. Can't see anything. We need light. Wow. Whoa. What the hell's that? Yeah, what the hell's that? Flowers. Grass. Tire tracks. Oh my. A car. I must be crazy. I'm crazy too, because that's dad's Ferrari. The dino killer, which means it's a time rip. Yeah. A gateway to 80 million years into the past. Go to the right. Great. His law Ferrari isn't there. And that means he got away from there. But to where? Or when? Yeah, that's the sweaty question. When? There's the statue. And the tire tracks I made when I took off. It's so hard to believe. Seven weeks ago I was right here, saying goodbye to him, but it was 80 million years, into the past. The same spot. Yet we can't find him, anywhere or any when. Natalie, we should go back to the shore. Thanks. So what do we know? He's not at the T-Rex estate. And he's not here on the Gigi estate either. And he's not at home. And the La Ferrari is gone from the T-Rex estate. 
and Fawn, for some strange reason, is here. Yet he always said, Where, Where I, I go, go Fawn, Fawn goes, goes too. too. It erupted again. Look at that ring. Why is it doing that? Strange as hell. And a bit creepy. Holy shit, the ring killed the bird. Thank goodness he didn't swim out there. First the shark exploded and now the falcon. I think the time rip is a clue. You do? Yeah, because it popped up just when we got here. Not a fluke. It's a message. Keep going. Dad's a tough guy. Dad may be lost, but maybe he's signaling us using Fawn while saving her at the same time. That's Dad's style. You're right. He sent Fawn through the rip as a clue. It's the only way. How else would Fawn get here? Maybe the rings are clues too. Yeah. He's alive. Tough guys don't dance. So true. But heaven knows they've tried. The Reaper has tried to get him so many times, hitting him with heart attacks again and again and again and again and when that didn't work, all the shit inside him growing, feeding of him trying to beat him. Shit. No, he survived it all. So why should a tiny thing called time manage to kill him? No way. By the freeway, time is not even real. Time was invented by man, GG said so all the time. And that's why traveling in time isn't possible. We call it time because it's easier to understand. So yes, he may be lost, but not in time, but in dimensions. And certainly not beaten. He's out there. Somewhere in time. He'll find us. The time rip is actually beautiful. Look at turning red. What's happening? Oh my. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Such a power. The rip just sucked in all sunlight. Harnessing it for the eruption. But it's still dark. Someone's doing this. Yeah, your dad. Classic GG style. Darkness and red. Look, fireballs made of light. Shit, that's cool. But what does it mean? Morse code, maybe? Whoa, light's back. Yeah, it could be code, or signals. But, I don't understand it. Me neither, damn it. Hey, his Ferrari in the rip. It's only a machine. Yes, but also a time machine with super fuel. Pum gas would solve everything. In that Ferrari, plutonium and magnesium are perfectly mixed. If we could just get down there. We would probably die, just like the falcon and the shark. Fuck, shit. Shit fuck damn it to hell with it. Shit fuck damn it to hell with it. But, isn't it odd that we haven't found any personal clues? You know, like a GG was here sign. Ravens. Or Magnum ammo. Or shells. His 44 Magnum. A note. Cigarettes. His special solid is gold coin. A guitar pick. A bottleneck. Even a Coke can. Nothing. I don't know what more we can do. But we'll put up the biggest badass memorial stone the world has ever seen. Who's going to argue? Nobody, that's who. He's really gone. Come here.
Sometimes I'm metal, sometimes I you You put stars in a kettle and start as you brew He'll find us. He's really gone. He's really gone. Somewhere in time, he's still out there. In another dimension. Looking at us. Dad doesn't dance. He's a tough guy. The toughest guy ever. He actually killed a dinosaur with a 44 Magnum. Gregory Games. The man who killed a T-Rex. All we can do now is wait. <laughs> 